Hi everybody, I hope you are all well. A couple of days ago, I shared with you that I am collaborating with SumUp on their SumUp Academy. Today, I am back to answer all your questions about building different revenue streams for your business. Um, so, I actually started thinking about building different revenue stream um, for my business quite early on when I launched La Basquetry. I was really keen to incorporate some of the skills and knowledge that I had from my previous career as um, an event manager and working in marketing for 10 years. I also think it's quite important as a small business owner to think on your feet We've definitely seen that over the past 12 months um, to adapt, to change, to learn, to diversify. Um, so I think this is a really interesting topic, um, especially right now. And I'm really excited to uh, answer some of your questions. So I have this quote printed in my office that says, don't put all your eggs in one basket perfect quote for me and it also sums up my personal approach to revenue streams. So revenue streams are basically all the different sources of revenue a business has. For a product based business like mine, um, my main revenue stream is my online shop. A second revenue stream could be selling on online marketplaces like Etsy and not on the high street. Um, and another one could be wholesale, um, so selling to online retailers and um, bricks and mortar. I wrote a book a couple of years ago. The royalties I get from book sales are another revenue stream. So other revenue streams you may be familiar with are experiences and events um, obviously everybody's been doing a lot online but any physical events that a business run such as conferences courses festivals workshops um, another good one is digital products so if you go to a website and purchase an e-course um, a recipe or, um, I don't know, a craft tutorial. One of the, one of the big pluses of um, revenue stream is that it takes off the pressure a little bit because you're not just relying on one revenue stream. So if your sales slow down, your online sales so slow down in the summer, you have those other revenue stream you can rely on. A second really good thing I would say is that it improves cash flow. And um, another one is you can trial new ideas. So you can trial things that you've had in mind, things that you've been wanting to try um, and, and, and test them. So that's also a really good, um, good way to see revenue stream. Okay, so there's two angles to me. Um, one is you need to gather a bit of data and knowledge on your customers. Um, so utilize the tools you already have, um, utilize insights on Instagram and all the stats you can get from other social media platforms, spend a little bit of time looking at your stats online, um, via your online shop, um, Google Analytics, see where your customer goes. Um, and one of the easiest way you can start with revenue streams is launching related products to what you already offer. So for example, for me, my book, sales of my book really picked up last year during the first lockdown and I identify a real move towards crafting. So I decided to start offering craft materials on the website and then DIY kits who've proven very, very popular. 
the second angle um, I would say is rethink your resources and skills to create new products and services um, so what I mean by that actually there's a really good example um, I'm sure you've seen how all spirit brands pivoted over the past 12 months and for example started to make hand sanitizer um, so creating a completely new product to what they were previously previously offering another good one is if you're a, a crafter can you start sharing tutorial on your website and build a little catalog that could lead to potential brand partnerships that's how I started mine and um, or referrals and affiliates links um, that suddenly become another revenue stream so what I would say is sit down make a list and brainstorm make a list of your current resources and brainstorms new ways you can utilize that my answer is no I would say it's like with everything um, in business um, it really depends on what you want to focus on let's say you decide that wholesale is going to be a big part um, you know a big part of your strategy and become um, a revenue stream yes you may have to invest a lot of money into getting your materials and um, operations etc but if you decide that corporate partnerships um, are something you want to focus on you may only have to create um, a really nice page on your website and do um, a big outreach to loads of different businesses so it really depends on where you want to go and what you decide um, your focus is going to be what i would say is obviously trade carefully test ideas you can always offer freebies um, when you trial all these different ideas see what people respond to before you decide to go bigger and invest a lot more time and money into um, into anything I think they are obviously unlimited routes of revenue streams out you know um, you've probably read those articles that says that every successful entrepreneur should have seven revenue streams I personally think that it all depends on how adaptable you are how do you feel about being the face of your business or would you rather stay behind the scenes how do you feel about hosting events or would you rather not you really need to ask yourself all these questions before you make you know you make any decision and how adaptable are you it's almost like um, seeing an umbrella um, with the core and all the different you know all the different sides to it that's definitely how you want to how you want to look at it I do think that as a small business you need to stay in the game you need to stay stay competitive and you need to look at what's out there you need to diversify your offering and revenue streams are a really good way to do that and to stay relevant and to cater to your customer while still you know growing growing a business this is a really really good question and I've actually asked myself that question um, a few times um, over the past few years ultimately I think if you choose to run a business you are you're making a sales you, you, you're becoming a salesperson um, your business I mean we all have a goal to you know make our business our 
main income and sometimes you do have to make decisions that are a bit more self self-led than passion led but i think ultimately it's all about finding the right balance and i would say to never do something you're not comfortable with so don't start you know don't launch a course if this is not uh you know if this is not something you're comfortable with you always need you know you always need to go back to what you feel comfortable with i also think it's good to challenge yourself and um you know to get out of your comfort zone because starting a business is is tough and um and starting you know when you started your business you did get out of your comfort zone so sometimes you do need to be challenge to try all new things and um and to really put your you know ceo founder or wh wh whatever your title is on and really look at your business um um from that angle and see where you see the business going and where the growth um where the growth of the business um is in the future so my favorite sum up product is the sum up air air as a i r um i, I can't pronounce that word right so um that's my favorite product um i love how compact it is it's super convenient I used to use uh, mine quite a lot at um, events pre-COVID um, and also in the studio when people come around. It's just a great little device um, to have around and you know, uh, it's perfect for any, any small business um, that's on the go. So I think that's it for me. That was my last question. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I really hope I've shed some light on building different revenue streams and um, yeah, this was loads of fun. Thank you so much. Bye.